Isaiah 1, 16 to 20. Wash you, make you clean, put away the evil of your doings from before my eyes. Cease to do evil, learn to do well. Seek judgment, relieve the oppressed, judge the fatherless, plead for the widow. Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. But if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. 16 and 17. Wash does not indicate that the sinner may cleanse himself, nor does it refer to mere ritual washing. Rather, it indicates that the sinner must accept the cleansing offered by the Lord, a cleansing of the heart resulting in true repentance. 1, 18 to 20. The prophet's appeal to come and reason together reveals God's gracious invitation to all men. It literally means to be reasonable by repenting and turning to God. Their sin is described as scarlet and red like crimson, referring to their blood guiltness before God. The term crimson also means worm, referring to the color fast red dye of the scarlet worm. The eradication of the stain turns it snowy white, and it is symbolic of the life-changing grace of God, which delivers men from the guilt of condemnation of sin. Thus, the prophet reminds his readers that God stands ready to cleanse and forgive all who will turn to him.